pulling the rear wheel on the Dyna and changing out the rear sprocket. Um, as you guys know, uh, I've, I've got had a chain conversion on it for a couple of years now. And the company I went with is called TMF Cycles. And they have a little budget beginner kit that you can get that has all your sprockets in there. It's a, it's a PBI front and a uh, Bum King rear is what I went with on the original setup. And to be honest with you, I've, I've put, you know, maybe 9,000 miles on this thing in a couple years and it's eight through two rear rotor or two rear uh, sprockets already and couldn't figure it out couldn't figure it out for the longest time thought my alignment was off um, thought the spacing of the rear wheel was off uh, you know everything like that I was, I was kind of puzzled at first and, and this is what it does to the sprocket uh, if that shows up correctly but yeah it just it eats the inside of the sprocket up and when you look at it on the bike it's actually pushed um, to the inside and, and wearing uh, on the chain there and come to find out these bum king sprockets are not 530 um, they advertise them as quarter inch thick I believe um, but yeah they don't fill out the chain whatsoever you can physically grab the chain on here and move it back and forth which you should be not be able to do <laughs> um, so this will be the last bum king sprocket i run for a while uh, you know if i have to go back to this emergency situation i will but uh, i've been through a couple of these and, they, and they've all done the same thing a couple of my friends have same issues where they wear the inside of this and you know if you don't pay attention it will wear right through these these uh, sprocket tees. So the solution that I found was a true 530 rear sprocket. And as you can tell, if that shows up, it's a lot thicker um, than those bunking ones and the same price. They're about a hundred bucks from Vulcan uh, Cycle Works. And you know, they come in black, they come in raw. And I've seen a lot of the stunt guys using these these Vulcan rear sprockets uh, without any issue. So what we'll do is uh, get this installed and, and put some mileage on it and see how it does with mileage. Um, from what one of my friends has already found out that it, 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 it's a true 530, so it fills out the chain, uh, gaps real nice, and it tracks real nice. So yeah, I'm ex excited to, uh, you know, have less maintenance in the chain area. I wish I would've knew that a king was like that before. Hopefully this saves somebody else from uh, going down that road. But but yeah, they don't, there's no business selling those at all, in my opinion, on the Harleys. They should be a little bit thicker. Um, that, that way you don't get that wearing on the inside of the sprocket. So we got to dine up on the lift. Uh, first thing we need to do is we'll pull the caliper and pull the axle off and get the wheel off there and I'll show you a trick to get the um, Loctite on the sprocket bolts. We'll, we'll run a heat gun on those guys and, and to loosen that up and make it easier bolts come out. So cue time lapse guys.
guys. If you look at the uh, width of the sprocket, you can see how it fills out the um, chain perfectly. Um, before, <laughs> you, you could actually move this chain like a lot from side to side. So um, yeah, got the wheel all installed. We'll tighten everything up. I'll, I'll lube this chain again and we'll be ready to go. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.